Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, I bring you the 2011 Chevrolet Tahoe Z71 4x4. And this is gonna be a full, in-depth tour of the Z71. We'll start it up, show the engine, go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at Hendrix Chevrolet Cadillac in Monroe, North Carolina. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up, let it run. It does come equipped with a remote start, just lock it, then hold the button down. Simple as that. It's the taupe gray metallic exterior with ebony leather interior. Very nice. It's got a leather wrapped steering wheel. Nice and soft. Six speed automatic transmission with tow haul mode and selectable gears by the plus and minus on the shifter column. And it's going to cut on the headlights. They're automatic. Fog lights as well as the hazards. Front two windows are automatic. And let's check out the exterior, shall we? Unique front fascia, specific to the Z71 with a chrome mesh grille. Has a high capacity air cleaner, skid plates. Chrome with a unique raised insert here. Also the integrated recovery hooks, styled raised hood. Unique 18 inch alloy wheels. Body colored wheel flares and the unique assist step with rugged top to hold you in when you're climbing in. It also has the heavy duty trailering package, which includes an engine oil cooler, heavy duty transmission oil cooler, 3.42 axle ratio for the rear, and an auto track two speed transfer case. It does have rear parking assist, a rear view camera. Flex fuel compatible. There's the camera. Trailer package. Full power sunroof. LED turn signal mirror. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. The Tahoe comes with a 5.7 liter Vortec V8, 16 valve with variable valve timing, produces 320 horsepower at 5400 RPM, and 335 foot-pounds of torque at 4000 RPM. Has a rear locking differential, 26 gallon fuel tank with an estimated miles per gallon of 15 city, 21 highway. windows and mirrors, power folding mirrors. Simple to use. Heated seats, two-person memory and active exit setting. Six-way power adjustable driver and passenger seat with side airbags and power lumbar. It does have a tilt steering wheel. And let's go ahead and see how it sounds.
very muscular sound. Has dual zone automatic climate control. Fan speed, different zones. Front defrost, rear controls, rear defrost. Recycling, automatic mode. Very simple to use. Has a Bose sound system. It's a full touchscreen navigation unit, AM, standard XM satellite radio. Preset stations, auxiliary, your input is here. Also, put it the D integrate with the DVD system in the rear, put the DVD in here, you can play it off this screen and the back screen simultaneously, or have the radio on this screen and the DVD in the back. Clock setting. Vehicle menu with different personalizable settings for the nav, display, sound system. Navigation, you can dual wheel the navigation, real time traffic updates or have the full map on the screen. Repeating your settings, favorite stations. Very neat system. It's a Dolby Digital DTS surround sound system. Two power outlets, power pedal adjust, parking assist and traction control. You have a brushed aluminum trim going down the center console as well as the dash and the door panel to replace the standard faux wood trim they put in them. Adjustable cup holders, stitch console, your remote and wi wireless headsets for the rear TV, radio controls as well as cruise control on the steering wheel, hands-free phone control and voice commands. Hands-free telephone, auto-dimming rear-view mirror, and integrated OnStar. One-touch automatic. Control for your power rear hatch. Garage home link. And it's gonna shut it down. Check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? Roomy rear seat. Caps and chairs. They also fold. making the access to the rear seat even easier. The roof does go up in a couple places, adding to the increased headroom too. Rear speakers. These middle row seats are also power by the buttons located here. Very simple. Rear AC controls, AV input jacks, power outlet, cup holders, heated rear seats. You also have an auxiliary jack for the back seats as well. It's your Panasonic entertainment system. Coat hook. glass and power rear hatch. Pretty standard operation. 
You can activate the power hatch by the remote or by this membrane button on the back of the handle. Opens up to the cargo space, power outlet. These seats also fold. One, two, and if you pull three, that unlocks the front so you can lift up and pull it out. Same power folding over here. Same power adjustments for the passenger seat. Very nicely equipped vehicle. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour of the 2011 Chevrolet Tahoe Z71. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.